Hey, Ms. Dante here. So two articles just dropped regarding Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we're going to go through them and I'm going to summarize as I go. So the first article is regarding Mamisu. And they have been they were playing this game uh, for what about like 50 minutes and then Mastery Battle for 10. And they also have a Q&A session at the end of this. So they did wrote an article. Um, so it starts off with that you can see a bunch of Pokemon like on the roadside here or and even in the streets. Seeing them integrated into the cities is pretty pretty nice. Look at the interactions. And then we kind of go through here these screenshots you know, as Badu end. And this is a room here. These two rooms, they look super nice. It's like a poster. Uh, Another sports poster over there, and then you can kind of see all the different Pokeballs. And here, this person really liked their hats. And the workout gym. It would be nice if you can like customize room, but I don't think that's happening. But here you kind of see a lady on the on the left side as well in the next room. Room, something's probably happening. Or there's just NPCs, just chilling. Uh, and then we go through this. This is the, um, I believe the Poke Job screen, one of the results screen when they come back from their Poke Jobs. Is Rotom. I've never seen this Rotom before. <laughs> uh, and then we can. Then it goes down to show the starters. So I'm just going to play these as, as I keep talking. Um, so it, in this video, you can see all the interaction when you select your starter Pokemon. Like to give high five, fist bump, or they like put two palms on their hands. Um, these are kind of seen in other creator, content creators' videos. But um, they show this again. See, like, Five right there. And then we can scroll down past all these. There's hop. And here they talk about the, the Pokemon encounters. So there's a brief picture of a Gossiflers all over the place here. There's a trainer over here. This is the important part where they talk about after the battle, you know how you usually get like experience and level up. They, they kind of just show like one one at a time. You can use the button and just skip all that and just move on. So that's pretty nice. It says that right here. They can possibly just skip that production by pressing a button. So this pretty much summarized that whole part. And then we get to this screenshot. It mentions that there's the, the Pokemon Center, the healing part. And then on the right, there's a store. And on the left, they were thinking it would be a cafe. But it actually has the move learner and move the leader. And name changer all in one so you can just on the left side that's what they have and then they were surprised about that um they did talk about that you don't need any hard scales to do any of those um move learning and tricks so hopefully they they do do by meeting the level requirements and you know whatever requirements that need to learn that actual move and then it goes to this screenshot where talks about your fancy fireplace Not fancy but i'm just adding that there and once you step out of the house you see this nice view and then you go into the city you see it's more nice views so you're actually sightseeing exploring the cities which is pretty nice and and then you can see some of these pokemon on the roadside like i mentioned above you see the screenshot wulu over here <laughs> so let's go down here you see the trains, right? On, on the bottom floor, just like Pokemon patterns. Like Mon, I think Monchamp was one of these. And then you can actually sit on these chairs. So, hey, hey for sitting. And we go to the Badoo Inn. So this is the place where all the gym challenge participants hang out or in, in a room. You see Hop, you see Marnie there. And then you see other trainers here with their uniforms. All ready to go. We have a glitch over here. And then the next screenshot, this is where you go. This is the healing screen. See so like your Pokemon. Dude, it looks so futuristic and modern with, with all this and especially the great ball or the holy poly over there. And in these videos, these are kind of shown in other content creators that actually played the 90 minutes. But I do want to mention that. There are different alert levels for for Pokemon. So you you sneak up the, and then if you like run through, they'll be like question mark. Be like, oh, what's going on? And look around. 
exclamation mark is that they see you like you know metal metal gear solid they're like Ting! that kind of thing um so that's what that's about and then we get down to this the max raid battles so we're just gonna look at these screenshots it looks nice make a uh max raid gear those there and then you have a stare down with onyx that stare down who's gonna the max raid over there max raid over there now you're at the max raid and then they start talking about that that notification thing um in the the game informer article that we'll go over later they can talk about the ycom stuff but you can notice that these stickers here just based on the stickers this is raid pink for raid pink for battle pink for trade and here's more in depth um how you say it. you 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 can go in there and look at looking more in depth on on all the notifications and then we get to the gist of it this is the screen we we did see these screenshots before but it goes talk about how there's like one to five star rating like in pokemon go there's uh the easier one was one star and then the five star ones are super hard you probably can't do it by yourself with npcs and then here is a new clip that they have fighting gigamax butterfree so not dynamax gigamax butterfree and then they talk about how the boss attacks every turn. So then there's four of you, right? So it attacks four times around. And then in the old screenshots, they talk about, I mean, we've seen that it, you have to beat it in 10 rounds. And apparently, Butterfree, these bosses are pretty smart. That if you have a Gyarados here, he does like electric move on Gyarados, which is four times effective. And then it aims for that Gyarados first. Which is which is pretty nice, and then they talk about the barrier that some some of the Dynamax or Ray battles have a barrier which you got knocked down. I mean, these are like all old information, but it's a barrier where even the the weaker Pokemon it will do at least something to the bar, right? Any attack would just at least knock down a bar, so you can have the weaker Pokemon that you know usually support and stuff attack, and then you have the DPS buff, so you can kind of do a mix and match kind of thing and vice versa. And then once, and then once per battle you can dynamax so it kind of goes in through here Let's see where it was so that's the barrier and talk about dynamaxing and only one person per battle can dynamax right and then it will it will show by chance one at a time until it cycles through everyone and so if you didn't if you didn't get to choose your dynamax then you have to wait four turns for it to come back to you no one actually dynamax and then after the battle, um, everyone get an opportunity to catch. Just like Pokemon Go, they're not a guaranteed catch or anything. And to me, it's just like one chance in that one giant Pokeball. That I can't have customized. Can I use a giant Great Ball instead? Pretty sure this is a giant Pokeball. Just like Pokemon Go, they have that Premier Ball. Can't change that amount of balls. And the, they, they go on saying that your gameplay progress wouldn't ma wouldn't change the max raid battles so you can kind of cooperate with other players depending doesn't matter where you are within the story and then we go down here look at these screenshots we look at the camp and someone riding on their bike across the lake someone's running over there and then here we get into the qa session so they start off um let's see start up by saying there are they're intentionally showing less Pokemon than previously shown before in other games. So they want people to go in with surprise, which is nice. You know, spoiled all that stuff. And then down here, talk about the revealing Farfetch and Ponyta that they want to make it so that Pokemon catching and the reviews are memorable. And then they want to link that Pokemon to the memories. Which is, it makes sense. Like, you, you take in all your senses and then remember it. It's easier to remember that way. And then they talk about encounters. It's a hybrid thing. They, they kind of go over this in the past. So they have, like, Pokemon Let's Go encounters where they're outside and open. And also have to gain the classic encounter, which is random. And then they talk about that there's a mechanism. There's a mechanism that makes a Pokemon competitively viable and then they have and then here they just like oh just summarize what they're gonna say
say. So that pretty much summarizes this article. And then we can move on to the Game Informer article, where we start off with them talking about the champions gonna have more role, a better, a more prominent role in the story. And then, and this one they they kind of tease that Game Free Company is gonna be in the game. I think right, likely gonna be in there. Then it starts here. So here's the they they called it Ycom. So this is the pinging system that I mentioned that I mentioned before. But they also added that in like the wonder trade, you can it can happen anywhere in the background, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can go off on Mary Way, and then when it happens, it would let you know the notifications. And then okay, so how about they asked about the amount of content going to be in the game, and they're they're comparing that. The volume of this is pretty much comparable to the other Pokemon games. And then they talk about like there's going to be a lot of replay value. So post game, a lot of a lot of post games happening. And then here's how you talk about raid battles, right? So they talk about how it's challenging that um, he tried fighting him by himself on five star and he lost multiple times, multiple, multiple times. And then there's even more content. There's other content, so that will work over the long term, not just mastery battle. So I'm interested what that's gonna be. And then they talk about the timeline. It's talking about as more of a space thing, not a not a timeline thing. So think about it like if you see Professor Oak is gonna be in the same era, like the same lifetime. And of course, you know, time progresses as you go, so it's probably just see Professor Oak in a little later time or something. But yeah, just consider it all in the same era. And then they teased about, oh, and Wotan gonna be a game? For me, most likely gonna be in a game. And then they talk, and asked about the Dark Gym. Is it gonna be a, oh, actually this one is about, um, talk about just their tour around, they're trying to do research and stuff. And they go to England, I mean, London, Red, Redwood, in base England, of course. And I hear it's a dark gym. They don't want to say, but I'm thinking most likely going to be either, but like on a down low. And then they talk about the rotation of the gyms. And then thing is the backstory kind of thing. So most likely the backstory is going to allow them to cycle. And of course, they don't want to spoil that. And here you go. They talk about at least eight opportunities to play gym. The, the keyword at least. I right? didn't say, oh, they're going to have eight opportunities. At least eight. I mean, they don't want to go into here to talk about more development kind of thing, how they start off with one one version, right? And then they branch off, of course, different different games branch off at different times. So they pop, they use a config table to figure out what goes in what version at that point, And then they think that's how they branch off. And they talk about the anatomy to anatomy and it was like oh yeah we saw this so a lot a lot of this part is just like the end it's like oh real life pokemon professors so that's pretty much just the article the basic gist of those two articles um i'm pretty hyped i can't wait for this game coming out november 15 so i'm totally gonna be streaming it so feel free to check out my streams if you like this video give a like comment about what you what you're excited about and Hopefully I'll see you guys around. I'll put my link of the, my Twitch stream down below, Twitter, Discord. Check them out, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Later days.